Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. You know, Jesus told us, Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Is your heart troubled today? Are you heavy laden with a load of care and you feel abandoned, maybe misunderstood, betrayed, or even maybe unwanted? Jesus understands a troubled heart. He understood in this passage that his disciples were troubled. Jesus was going to leave them and he knew one would betray him and another, Peter, would even deny him. So he began to encourage them by telling them about himself and the Father. Further in this passage, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. When our hearts become troubled, Jesus first reminds us of the Father. He tells us, trust in God. When trouble comes and all looks bleak, remember this. We won't mind the journey when the road leads home. And we have a home in heaven when this life is over where we will meet Jesus and the Father. He and his Father are one. Jesus will not only take us to the Father when this life is over, but while here on earth amidst our trouble, he will reveal the Father to us. He assures us of the love of the Father. So to despair in your trouble is to feel alone and without hope. And you are never alone, no matter how dark the night or how long the day or how severe the trial. God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit are in the trouble with you to lead you through it. Trouble comes to us so that the Father may be glorified. So first identify your trouble. Is it physical? Is it financial? Is it marital? Or is it spiritual? You know, don't ignore trouble and don't run from it. Face it head on. Remember that the wicked flee, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Trouble comes to all men and women, as Job tells us, that as sparks fly upward, so does trouble come to all. Trouble may come from another person who is causing heartache, or it may come from unexpected news, or it may come from sin, or from our enemies, or even from our mouth. It matters not the source so much from where it comes as much as the source where we go when it does come. You know, when we confront trouble and identify it, it makes it easier to deal with. Because confrontation of trouble always brings courage and courage helps us to make rational decisions. Secondly, pray immediately. God's great promise to us is that when we call upon him, he will answer and he will be with us in our trouble and he will deliver us and he will honor us. After we identify and confront and pray regarding our trouble, God also promises to hide us. He tells us in Psalm 27, 5, For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high up on a rock. A great illustration of God hiding and protecting us during the trouble occurred to me once when I was going through a uh, an automatic car wash. And, and you know, the water rushes around you and the brushes beat and they slap the car and you can't see out for the water and the soap and the suds and you feel trapped and you are trapped until the car is cleaned. Trouble is like that car wash. It may seem to slap and brush and scrape and look scary and it sounds even scarier. But remember this, nevertheless, afterward, you have, your, you know, when you come out, your car is clean. So while you've been hidden, you know, in the safety of your car, it's being cleaned up. And that's the way that it is with us sometimes with God. Trouble helps clean us up. You know, we trust the mechanical mechanisms of the automatic car wash to do the job. 
And so God wants us to trust him in the midst of the storms and the troubles of life to do his job. He is not only our hiding place, but he is our great helper in times of trouble. Psalm 46.1 tells us that he is an ever-present help in trouble. He doesn't leave you for a minute to battle your trouble alone. He is in it, beloved, with you. Remember, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. He has prepared a place for a prepared people, and he allows trouble to help prepare us for that prepared place. Meditate on these great words of Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. You have a friend who sticks closer than a brother in the midst of your trouble, and he is an all-powerful elder brother who will help you through all your trouble. Believe in him, trust in him, and rely upon him. He will strengthen your faith in the midst of your trouble. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.